Hey y'all, it's Bo, Brother Tim with Better Together Life and the Shed to House Facebook group. I am hanging out on my messy front porch of our Shed to House. My family of six live in about 800 square foot in a shed that we converted into our full-time house. It is 16 by 44 with two sleeping lofts for my kids. And I always want to share with you cool designs whenever I see them. I went to Home Depot and I saw these two shed to houses. One is a 16 by 20 and one is a 16 by 16. They both have full second stories that you can stand up in. Now, doing a shed to house, I always do preach quality and customer service because it's kind of like buying a used car. You really want to be able to trust the dealer and the manufacturer that you are going with. I'll talk about that later and also at the end of the video I'm going to share with you the full price of how much these two sheds, these two buildings cost at Home Depot. Here is one that is a two level and it's more of like a conventional, kind of looks like a house a little bit. Is you walk in here and you see like this open space and it's not bad. I think this could be really cool as a studio shed office space. It's a, it's a cool little design. And it's, you could have like a kitchen over here, maybe a bathroom, maybe a couple of little couches over in this side. Here's the stairs. I like these stairs, especially more than ours. It feels more full size. Okay, then as we come up here to the second level, as you can see, I can fully stand up. It's not bad. One thing that I am feeling right now is up here, we're right at a really busy highway and you can feel the wind. So anywhere near a freeway, I can kind of feel the, the wind in the building. And that's something that in our 16 by 48 barn style, more long and lower, you don't really have that feeling of wind. I don't know if that means that my house is better built than this one. What I would want you to see is that there are different options for shed to house alternatives. You don't have to do the barn style long that you could look at finding a builder that would do an on-site build for you. And this is a really cool one. Like if you want a full two story, this is a great, great option. You know what else is a better option? Smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm. All right, so this is a 16 by 16 shed with a full lofted second story. So it kind of is a little bit tighter on the sides but on this one of course it's a little bit smaller of a footprint but it really is a lot of the same design as the previous one this one is going to have a lofted second story but it's going to be a full story so let me show you in here so it's kind of the same layout if you can put like a little kitchenette maybe a bathroom at least a toilet over there a much much smaller space of course you have but you know, you'd want to replace these doors with more proper doors. I like how they have the two by 12s on the top plate. Okay, what I did notice here is these are more like my stairs. They're just a little bit narrower. I think it's because of the smaller footprint of this overall building. Now I would definitely want to upgrade the floor in here. And then now up here in the second floor, still you can stand up. I cannot express how I would much prefer to have a full story in our kids' sleeping lofts. It's a bummer. That's why I think you can build this on site. I'm not saying, like if you were to go with the United Portable Building or you know, and find a local dealer with them, uh, for us here in Texas, it is farm and yard and then in Mississippi it's Rebel Outdoor Products. We love those guys. With United you can do an on-site build for something similar to this. 
So you don't have to be locked in to the shed look. They will come and they will build it a second story. Uh, man, as I'm here again, the second story, you can feel the movement of the wind. So I don't know if that's the construction of it or if it's just how having a full story in one of these floor plans are. I'm not sure why you can feel the wind as much as you can. It's probably because it's not tied down. Like for what United would do, they would put hurricane straps built into the frame. Before you do the outside siding, they would have hurricane straps built into the frame that you can anchor down to the ground. That will add so much more stability. So it's not a bad idea. The thing that I like most about this is that you can come here and kind of see these ideas or you can watch our videos to get different ideas. This is cool. The main thing is you do not have to be locked in to having a very small loft. Now, of course, having something built on site will increase the cost. But do you know what doesn't cost a thing? Destroying that like button for the YouTube algorithm. All right, so those are the two options for these sheds that I found. Now, again, I'm not sure of the craftsmanship of these two manufacturers. I do know that I fully trust United Portable Buildings. They are so picky that they don't even allow the nails to nail holes, like, you know, the butts of nails on the siding. They go through and they putty and sand all of the nail holds on your siding, your exterior siding, because over time, one, he just, Casey, the owner, just thinks that it looks bad, but for two, it's because that eventually over time, those will wear out and water can seep into those buildings. Now, I am bummed that I did not get United Portable Buildings for the shed to house that we currently live in. I didn't know about them, Beforehand, I wish I would have known and I want to be able to tell you guys about them. This is not a sponsor video at all. I just want to be able to show you what the options you can see at Home Depot and then make a call to a manufacturer that you trust and you like and that it's very, very important that you can meet with the manufacturer and talk to the people who actually build these things. Okay, so let's talk about the price for these. The lofted barn shed that does have, both of these have a full second story. That price is gonna be 7606. That's the price that they had listed there for all of the features for that building. 7,606. Now, as I'm going back to look at the image there, I don't know if that includes all of the windows that they had. Probably it does not include any of the windows and there might be some added features. So I'm not 100% sure about that. That might just be a base model and they, and they might have add-ons for each of these that are more expensive. Okay, so now talking about the 16 by 20 that had the full second story, a more typical pitched roof, that cost is gonna be 10,888. And again, looking at the image here, it looks like that is not including all the windows. And then I'm sure that there's probably some add-ons that that building that I showed you had that this price doesn't include. Now I know what a lot of people are gonna say, hey, I feel duped. You know, you, I thought I was gonna look at a full shed converted house. So this is, again, this is just to give you options so you can take and talk to your manufacturer that you trust and if this is a manufacturer that you trust, that's great, go with it. I personally do not think that you're gonna get the customer service from a Home Depot. That does not make sense at all. And I know that, that Home Depot just reps this company, but I, it's just something that I'm not really sure how it's gonna work. But if you wanna see how someone can convert a wooden box into a livable home, you can check out the playlist right up here, how to convert a shed into a house. It is exactly how we have converted a 16 by 44 into our full time home. So if you wanna see it, this is it. And all the finishings, that's completely up to you. It's all the basics. Also, if you wanna know cost, you can go up here to bettertogetherlife.com slash report. That's bettertogetherlife.com slash report. 
and that will give you the cost for what we put into our house. You wanna know how much it costs? That is your list right there. That is how you can find out how much all these details cost. It is very important for you to budget and to know how much these things cost whenever you're trying to convert a shed into a house. Also, go check out Shed to House on Facebook. Our Facebook group is a group that it's about 65,000 people in there, a group that my wife and I started. It's just amazing. So many people in there doing exactly like this. So many questions of people dreaming of what, how to do this. So go check that out. So get the report and go to the Facebook group. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. Smash the like button and we'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.